Well, these valves allow engineers to autonomously and remotely control the flow of fluid within a system. This fluid can be a liquid or a gas, for example, water, air, natural gas, oil, steam, refrigerant, etc. The list goes on and on. The solenoid coil on the top is used to operate the valve by passing an electrical current through it to create an electromagnetic field and operate the valve. This means if it is connected to a controller, it can be operated autonomously and remotely by a computer without the need for engineers to physically run around opening and closing valves. This allows systems to run much more efficiently and safely. So where do we use or find solenoid valves? The short answer is everywhere. Solenoid valves can be found in everything from washing machines up to space rockets, although we're going to focus on the industrial and HVAC applications for this video. Let's have a look at some examples. In commercial refrigeration systems, we're almost certainly going to find at least one solenoid valve in the system and it's usually found in the liquid line near the expansion valve. We've also covered how expansion valves work in a previous video, do check that out, links are in the video description below. You can see this example here from an air handling unit which I was recently working on. This has a double direct expansion cooling coil inside to control the temperature of the air being sent around the building. The top expansion valve and cooling coil is always on when the system operates. But the second expansion valve and cooling coil only come on in the summer when the cooling load is too large for the single coil to handle. The solenoid valve is therefore used here to isolate the second coil and the expansion valve until it is needed. The controller then sends a signal to the valve to open and provide the additional cooling. Another very common application for solenoid valves in refrigeration systems is in the hot gas defrost line to control the flow of hot refrigerant into the evaporator during the defrost cycle. When the moisture in the air condenses on the tubes of the evaporator, it will freeze and cause a buildup of ice. We need to remove this to ensure efficient operation, so we open the solenoid valve to send hot refrigerant from the compressor through the evaporator instead of the condenser. Then, once the defrost has completed, the solenoid valve shuts and the system continues as normal in cooling mode. In industrial applications, we can use these valves to precisely control the flow and mixing of fluids. For example, to pour a perfect amount of fizzy drink into a bottle on a production line. We might also find solenoid valves being used in a production line to detect and prevent leaks. If a sensor detects a leak from the pipework, then a controller will tell the solenoid valve to close to shut that part of the production line off and prevent product being wasted and also protect the manufacturing equipment until engineers can get there and fix it. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but if you want to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, theengineeringmindset.com.